Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I am coming at you with um, a food haul. Um, yeah, whenever I'm able to get things at really, really good prices, I try to share them with you guys so that you can be inspired to look for sales and savings um, at your local food market because all markets do mark out, markdowns, you guys. They have to. That's how they still try to get a couple of dollars out of things that they know maybe are going to inspire and expire soon. So I try to show you guys so that you too can look for your local food market and try to get savings too. Now, before I go further, if you have not seen my body shot thus far, um, I did a body shot and make sure you go look at it because in the description box it's going to give you a few videos that you can actually compare and see for yourself um, the results if you see any at all. Of course we already know that some people aren't going to receive results regardless because they don't want to see results. But it doesn't matter to me because I get the satisfaction in the end when it's all said and done in so many different ways. So. Um, make sure you go check that video out. Make sure you look at the videos in the description box. Um, before I go further, make sure you go check out my site, which is bigcuts52.webs.com. As you all know, all the profits for that business is going towards my gastric, um, my gastric sleeve surgery, not bypass, gastric sleeve surgery. I'm scheduled to have it December the 10th. I am a uh, paying uh, client, so all the profits from that is going to my uh, gastric sleep. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so I added a lot of bargain bin items. So make sure you go check that out because it's a lot of different things. Really great quality, you guys. You're basically paying in a lot of at a lot of areas or a lot of times on my site. You're basically paying wholesale a little bit below wholesale prices. Trust me, I know. Um, I I work hard to try to get you guys these prices try to get me great prices so I can pass them on to you guys so make sure you go check that out um, bargain bin all of the items are seven dollars and under now I got all that out the way so I went to one of my favorite stores yes Safeway I went to Safeway because that store marks down a lot of items and when I say a lot of items I'm talking about they do this weekly so you have to go try um, Safeway out if you have a local Safeway. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something funny. My mother, <laughs> y'all know my mother a minister, right? So, my mother always say, like, when she gets deals and savings, she'd be like, Key, because that's what they call me ever since I was little. Um, Key, look what God did for me. <laughs> and she be talking about, like, getting, like, yogurt or sale. <laughs> Like it's just for her, and God did like did it just for her. So if y'all hear me saying, "Look what God gave me," that's because I get that from my mother. Anyway, um, <laughs> y'all know how old old saved people are sometimes. You know they're a little different from us sometimes in the sense that they do it the right way. They take they have Thanksgiving with everything. I don't care if they get some yogurt on sale, milk half price. <laughs> And all things have Thanksgiving. So, um, if you hear me saying that, you'll understand why. Now, I got a couple of little treats for myself. A lot of people don't get low carb. And I'll show, like, my bacon and eggs. And they'll be like, oh, my God, you're eating bacon and eggs. I know people be thinking that. I know some of y'all be thinking that. I know it. But what you fail to realize is that that's because you don't know the science and understand fully about low carb. Um, you don't understand how somebody can eat bacon or eat some chicken wings or eat pork chops or something like that. You don't understand how they're able to eat that and still get weight loss results. That's because they understand the whole science behind it. And they understand if you eliminate certain things out of your body or out of your diet and add certain things to it, it's not so much as the food that you're eating is the combination of the foods that you eat that bulk you up sometimes so if you don't know much about low carb I'm not here to really explain all of it to you it's a lot I had to learn it so just google it um, look on YouTube you can get any information you need but that's what I've been doing and I've been pairing that with my Finn body um, nutrition um, I'll put the link below. I'm not getting paid to tell you guys about this. I just want to tell you guys about something that I came across that actually is working for me. And why should I 
if I know it works, why should I keep it bottled up inside when I hope that, you know what I'm saying, if I need help, the next one will help me or put me down with something. So that's all I'm just simply doing when I share it with you guys. So, all right, let's get started. I got a couple of treats for myself because I do not really um, eat any really treats. Uh, the most treat um, <laughs> I'll have is like some celery and cream cheese, um, maybe some pork rinds every now and then. Um, what else I have? Uh, oh, pudding cups. I love, love, love um, cold chocolate pudding cups. Um, but that's basically it. So this is really a huge treat for me. And it'll last me forever. Because being that I'm on the appetite suppressant, I really do, you guys, eat very, very small portions. Not because I'm so strong. And not because Kiana, oh, she, she got it going on. She, she going hard. I'm going hard because I got something in my system that's helping me. Let's keep it real. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yes, it's a mind thing because you have to fight besides the uh, the pill. You have to fight mentally not to eat. So, the, the pill doesn't help you with the mental. So, it is partially me. But I'm just telling you it's not all me. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, when I do eat things, I eat small portions. So, that's why I can have something like this. This is the... Fudge track, slow churn, no sugar added, and one third um, fewer calories and half less, uh, half of the fat that's in normal ice cream. Um, as far as for a half a cup, it's 120 calories, which I'm not really caring about because I'm low carb. It's not that big of an issue for me. Um, but the total carbohydrates is 18, and then you subtract the six, which is the sugar alcohols, because your body you know, doesn't process sugar alcohols as it does regular sugar. And then you pro um, deduct the fiber. So all together, you deduct eight, so you're eating 10 carbs, which is not bad for the fact that you can have ice cream. Um, and given the fact that normal ice cream or regular ice cream is about like uh, 34 carbs or something like that, especially if you get one to have all this little chocolate stuff in it. So I got these. These were two for five or two for six dollars. So I got that and I got the butter pecan. Old heads, y'all know what I'm talking about because old heads eat butter pecan. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it, this has the same thing. It has uh, three sugar alcohols and three fiber. Um, so, and it's 16 grams of carbs. So, you subtract that, that gives you the 10 still. And this is the butter pecan. So, I got that. Then, the rest of the stuff you guys, you're going to trip out about because I wind up getting um, a lot of stuff on. 50% off. Y'all know how I do. If you want to know what I, um, I'm all over the place. Anyway, um, if you want to know what I have eaten today, today is noon and this is what I've had so far. Um, this is leftover from yesterday and this is the Mighty Mango Naked Juice. Yeah, that's what I've had thus far. And Mighty Mango is actually my favorite, even though Green, um, Machine is the most healthy, I believe. But anyway, um, this was 50% off. It's $3. It was 50% off, which is the, look what Jesus gave me, y'all. Um, the sugar-free hot fudge. So y'all know this is really like a big treat for me. Because since I've been off of that cruise ship September the 7th, I haven't had ice cream or nothing like that since then. And it's now October the 31st. So um, I've been, you know, I've slipped maybe six times since I've been off of the cruise ship. But, yeah, other than that, I've been going at it and going hard. And I'm happy with the results. I have not told you guys, nor will I tell you guys the actual number. But trust and believe me, I'm going hard. Um, this is the sugar-free strawberry topping. This was half off as well. So I got these for like $1.50. So that was great. Um, you get 75% fewer calories than the regular sauce that you use, whether that's the hot fudge or the strawberry. Um, as far as carbs, you guys, there is a total of zero. Why? Because it's a total of nine carbs and the sugar alcohols is nine. So you have zero digestible carbs. So um, that is always a good thing. Now, as far as the, the hot fudge one, um, it's 18, um, no, it's 23 carbs. And then the sugar alcohols is 18 and then the fiber is one. So you're getting about two Maybe three carbs per serving with the hot fudge one. But the strawberry one is zero. So, yeah. Um, 
So I got that. Some other things I got was some more shiitake noodles. Um, this is the um, 20 calories and uh, one carb. This has four carbs in it, but it's three fiber carbs, so fiber grams. So you deduct the three from the four, of course, leaving you one carb. Um, as far as calories, you get 40 calories for the whole bag, not per serving, for the whole entire bag. And this is what I fixed with some vegetables, some mushrooms, some green peppers, some onion, and some um, ground beef or ground turkey, and a little bit of uh, Hunt's no sugar added sauce. This is what I fixed for spaghetti. And it's delicious. So, um, yeah, I got these from my local food market. As I told you guys before, you don't have to go to your Asian market to get these anymore. They do have them at your local food market. And you get them where the, like, the uh, pre-made salads um, near the produce area as well as where tofu is. So, that's where you can find these. Um, they do have a little fish smell to them. But what you do is you just simply boil them for a few minutes and drain it and that's it um i always buy these as you know because a lot of my recipes call for this this is a trick that i use often to make sure that um i can use i'm not using any breading because as you know bread is a no-no of any kind so um i use this crunch this up put a little bit of seasoning and things like that on my chicken or my fish and that's what makes my chicken and fish taste crunchy so in my mind i'm thinking i'm eating like something fried um because you can bake this too but in my mind uh, i'm thinking i'm having something fried because it's crunchy but what i'm eating is actually this so this is something i use and it has a resealable container um i got this that's a must have to keep in the home uh some more snacks I got a whole bunch of them because Nene and I both eat these a lot. Um, you always want to stick with your fruits and your vegetables um, and also your nuts. You want to stick with the lower carb end of the scale. Um, pistachios and almonds are lower carb um, than some other nuts that may be out there. So they had these big bags and these are considered a big bag but they're 8 ounces. But this is considered a good size bag uh, because you don't want to you know, have a whole bunch of them. But anyway, um, as far as the carb count, you guys, uh, you're getting four carbs per serving. And in a bag like this, you're getting four servings. So that's not bad. Um, so the fact that you have a snack for four carbs is not bad at all. So I got those. And then they also had some roasted no salt almonds. And this is low carb as well. Um, this is two carbs. So per serving, this is two carbs. Per serving, this is four carbs. And you get seven servings out of this with the no salt almonds. So I got these. I got these. And I got these. This is the kind of stuff that Nene and I snack on. Um, Pootie eats them, but not that often. And he doesn't have any nut allergies just not really that into it but he does eat it they had ground beef on sale you guys the whole big roll for two dollars and fifty cents and this is the big roll you guys let me compare it to something this is my big bottle of necker juice this is not the little one this is a big bottle so this should tell you how big the ground beef is so these was on sale from eight dollars to two fifty so I got three rolls of that because I can easily fix something out of that whether I fix some um, no shell tacos um, a little casserole I can fix a low carb lasagna out of that with some eggplant and some vegetables I can fix almost anything out of that so that's why I got that and that's when you do low carb you guys because a lot of people say that these diets a lot of diets are expensive well if you shop smartly it won't be that expensive you guys but when you do see things on sale you have to get a lot of that's why when you see me buying a lot of different items you know i know people be talking to themselves saying oh she shouldn't be having all that what you don't understand is that i buy it like this so that i don't have to spend a lot of money during the month so if i buy a lot of it when it's marked all the way down it lasts me all month long, which means I'm saving long term.
I don't run out of food that I have to have, the kind that I have to have I'm talking about, the kind that keeps me on straight and narrow. I don't run out, and then I don't have to go out and pay for um, items that they didn't elevated the price on. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So that's what I do. Um, so you may find that helpful. Um, I like to fix this with some eggs, some diced onions, some green pepper, and um, some cheese. And it tastes, I don't know why, because it has nothing to do with it. But this tastes just like um, Chinese food when you fix it like that. I don't know why. I guess A Fu Young maybe it may taste something like that. But it tastes just like Chinese food. I remember when I did a little carb like nine months ago, you guys. I did this on camera before this meal. But when I use these, these are a little steak that's already done. When I use these and some eggs and some onion diced and some green pepper and some cheese tastes just like Chinese food so I got that a lot of people wonder why I'm able to only eat one meal a day besides just being on thin body why I have the willpower to do it well I sip on like I told you my naked juice all day long which is really thick see how thick that is it's really thick so this fills me up um and then also, I had things like this. So, it seems like I'm eating all day, um, but I'm not eating solid foods. You understand what I'm saying? And it's working for me. So, these are two for a dollar, the chicken broth. I'll sip on that when I like feel like I got to have something or I want something. Well, it was mainly a mental thing because I'm not really hungry, but I want something. I'll trick myself. i say, okay, you want something, body? I'm going to give you something. You're going to take some, ch some chicken broth. That's it. So... <laughs> Hey, booty. Hi. Oh, you got a treat? Uh -huh. Okay, let me finish this video and then I'll be with you, okay? Okay, so this chicken breast cutlets, these were $4.99 with half off. And this is all white meat chicken. Um, you get four of them and they're 220 calories if you're interested. Um, and they have 10 grams of protein. But... I don't know if you can tell, but they are lightly breaded, you guys. When I say lightly, they're very lightly breaded. So, by me seeing how little breading they did have, made me want to search further to find out how many carbs it has. Well, I found out that it has 12 carbs, you guys. So, that's not that bad. 12 carbs for one piece is really not that bad. Given the fact that you can actually have chicken, and I can just basically put some cheese some lettuce and some condiments on it that don't have no sugar in it or geared towards like mustard and things like that and it could make me think i have like a chicken patty you understand what i'm saying so or i can just throw some no sugar sauce on top of this and some mozzarella and have like a chicken parmesan and then have these uh shiitake noodles and have like a chicken parmesan so this is just giving you guys ideas but this wind up being 250 after it was all said and done because it was marked down 50% off. And as you know, I told you guys I don't really coupon that much because I don't really see huge savings like I used to. And also, I don't really have the time like I used to have. So what I do is I try to search for things in my own way, getting savings and not having to clip any coupons. And it's been working for me thus far. I'm going to show you the rest of the items. I'm going to try to breeze through because we're already at almost 20 minutes. But I wanted to be able to show y'all and talk about how I'm actually eating these things and the way that I fix them to make me actually have the weight loss that you guys are seeing. Um, these are uh, Hormel Beef Roast. Um, and they... They had these marked down, you guys. Now, these are usually $7.99, so they wind up being $4, which is not bad at all. But the great thing is, a lot of people, because when you're on low-carb, you have to stay away from gravies and be careful with that. Because people usually use, when you use gravy, or when you're making gravy, the roux that you're using is flour. Incorporated with the, the juices from whatever you're fixing. Well, that's the traditional way. So, you have to be careful with the condiments. We all know that. Especially if you're low-carb. And you have to be careful with gravy because of the flour. Well, whenever you see something like this, most people be like, well, I'm not going to definitely be able to eat it because of the gravy. It's it's in. Well, the funny thing is, I don't know how they do it. Because I remember sharing this with you guys when we did local, I did low carb before, nine, ten months ago. 
Well, it's four grams, believe it or not, you guys. It's three servings for the whole container, and it's only four grams per serving for carbs, even though it's in gravy. Don't ask me how, but they've been able to do it. So this is a great thing because you can have this with some steamed vegetables on the side. Of course, sticking with lower carb vegetables like your greens, cabbage, um, maybe a side salad. Being careful with the carrots and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm I, yeah. So the whole container, you're looking at 12 carbs for the whole container. This is why you have to really, really look at the back of the containers because this is 12 carbs for one of these or this whole container is 12 carbs. Not one serving, the whole container. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why you have to, it's not necessarily how much you eat, it's what you eat, the carb intake, and so on and so on. So I got a couple of these. I didn't bring them all in here because I wanted to show you guys, but I got a couple of these. They were marked down to $4. They also had... Flap steak, um, of course, no carbs because meat has no carbs. 50% off and it was $13. So you're looking at $6.50 for this big piece of flap steak. So this is great to have as well because I can make almost anything out of it. Um, they even marked these down. 50% off. Southwestern style and onion um, oven roasted. Um, the carb intake, you guys, is $1.00 on both and it was $4.99 so it wound up being $2.50 so I got a couple of these they even had Italian style beef roast so that's another one they had um, their organic romaine heart lettuce they had them buy one, one free, $3.99, buy one, one free, and those are organic kind. So $1.50 each. What is that? No, $3.99. So $2 each, and you get three big ones inside. Um, I like to fix that for Nene. Um, I also like to fix it for myself where we just take one whole long um, piece of the lettuce and pack it with, you know, um, tuna, some mayo, onion, some obey, some black pepper, and we eat it just like that, and it's all good for us. I got this for Nene because it's not really low carb as much as people think. Uh, it was four dollars, but then it was half off. It was it's a uh, seafood salad that's already made up. I stay away from things that's already made up um, because I don't know if they put any. Some people put a little bit of sugar in their salads and things like that. You think they they don't, but they do. Um, and also I just stay away from them because these seafood imitation seafood chunks are not that low carb. You, you would think it is because in a low cal diet, you can eat those in your salad and that's great. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a great way to fill up, but not add a whole bunch of calories. It has not a lot of calories, but it has some carbs in it that you want to stay away from. So I got this for Nene mainly to take to school because she does not like school lunch at all. So I get because it's not really geared towards vegetarians and you know she's been a vegetarian now congratulations Nene by the way um she's been a vegetarian now for I think about eight months yeah yeah got that from her mama so when people think that you know fat moms only teach their kids how to be fat no my daughter now is not even in plus size clothing so I taught her how to be a vegetarian even though I didn't continue on with it it's still a wonderful lifestyle still has a a great purpose and it's still um is something that is working very well for her so um yeah I, t I taught her that so um so this was two dollars you guys for this whole container of uh, store made um seafood salad so i got her a couple of these because she won't eat this whole thing but she'll eat like half of this take it to school and then um eat it with some crackers or something like some club cart crackers so i got that they had some cooked shrimp. No, this is raw shrimp. Uh, Five dollars, so half off. Half off will be two fifty. I got that. Um, of course, this is for Nene. I got this for one. It was a dollar and seventy cents, but they had thirty percent off. So I probably paid about a dollar a pack for these um, seafood chunks. She can use that for something else. I got her a couple of packs of those. These items can be frozen, by the way, you guys. So that's just 
giving you guys heads up. And uh, what else did I get? I think that's it, you guys. Daddy got a couple of items. I did get this. This one is the huge one. This one is the one that's like $10. But this will last me for days. As my meal. Yeah, as my actual meal. This is the big one. Now, they have one small that's a single serving. This is the one up from that one. This is the one that's 32 ounces. Now, the single serving one is like 12 ounces. And that's usually like $2.99. This one is like $5.50 for 32 ounces. And this one is the 64 ounces. But these are the things that I eat as an actual meal. And I'll go all day and just eat this on some days. And then some days I'll eat this. And then my solid meal will be like some maybe some fresh cut vegetables and some ranch dressing. That's the kind of stuff I've been eating, you guys. But this is the huge one. This usually lasts me, when I eat it for a meal, like two days. Because I do eat one solid meal a day. So this will last me two days. So this should last me like four. Yeah. This one was on sale. It's usually $10. It was on sale for $7.99. So. so that concludes my food haul. Yeah, that concludes it, you guys. I thank you all for riding with me for, you know, actually lasting through this whole entire video for 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> 26 minutes to be exact. I wish you all a happy Halloween. I don't know when I'm actually uploading this video. I hope I'll upload it today. But if I don't, then... Um, I hope you had a great Halloween or Holy Ween. And um, I hope that you get something from this. Um, like I said, I didn't want to just show you the food and not give you ideas of how I actually use it and how it benefits me and how I'm able to eat certain things that may be um, on your diet or your weight loss journey. You may have to stray away from, well, I'm able to eat it because low carb is very, very different, you guys. But in order to be successful at it, you have to know the science behind it. Because if you don't, what you'll wind up doing is incorporating what we've always been taught, which is to focus on your cal caloric intake. And you'll be pairing things that you normally think would make you lose weight or assist you with losing weight. And then you'll be trying to watch your carbs, but not really understanding the whole concept or which one is high carbs, which one are good carbs, which one are bad carbs, which one, you understand what I'm saying? So you'll wind up doing it all wrong and you'll probably wind up not losing or gaining if you don't understand the science. That's why I always tell you guys to research it. Really look into it before you embark on it because if not done properly, you can actually stay where you're at if not gain. If you not if you don't do it properly. So on that note, you guys, I love you all so much. I thank you all for tuning in and talk to you guys later. Be blessed.